It's Jessica. Um, I'm just working in the dye studio this week and I thought I would show you um, what I'm working on today. So um, today is Monday and I just finished dyeing up out and about on a bunch of different bases. So here it is back on Eclipse Fingering. And then here it is on Slub. You can see the little slubs. So yeah, it looks pretty good. And then we also got, so we also got um, Eclipse on DK as well. We had it once before on worsted, but um, as a, like a worsted weight, but I don't think, I think it's sold out right now with our suppliers. So we were able to get DK though. So instead of holding Eclipse fingering with mohair or something to make DK, you can now just uh, use a DK weight by itself for a DK um, pattern. So here it is on DK and you can see that it's a lot like chunkier. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for it. So that's out and about. It's all I've done all day is just by out and about. And then over here, and then over here, I put it on um, Surrey. So, I think it's gonna look super good. This one just got turned on, so it's not steamy yet, but it will be. So these will be available in our little shop update we're doing on Saturday at 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, um, I thought that since the Eclipse DK is a new base for us, and we're not sure what you guys would want to see color wise on it then if you could leave a comment below if there's a specific color that you're looking for in the DK weight eclipse yarn so yeah here it is again over here just hanging out so yeah so happy Monday everybody and talk to you again soon Okay, so this is Allison. Um, I wanted to show my next whip that I'm gonna work on uh, for January. So I have technically finished my um, second whip. I just hadn't had a chance to film it. So I will include that in the next vlog, but it was my crochet granny stripe uh, scarf that I made. All I had to do was put the fringe on the ends. So I finished that. So that is a, a finished object and I have finished my cozy house socks that I showed uh, last week. So this was the third one that I had um, figured I could probably finish in a decent amount of time. So this one I think will definitely take a little bit longer. So maybe sometime 
actually it's looking like probably finish in February, but I am looking forward to having these done. These are um, my like gradient uh, socks and they are knit with uh, the blue brick. Um, her yarn, Shireen, um, it's her yarn in the little tiny, I think they're like 50 gram, two 50 gram skeins. And so this is the iceberg colorway. And so it's a bit more greeny, turquoisey in this area versus like kind of how it's more turning blue in the, in, on the screen. Um, but it's a, it goes like from really light, which I decided to, um, put in the cuffs. Um, and then it goes really dark and I still have you can kind of see here that there is another darker color um, after I finish this one. So I'm not sure if I will reach that by the time I finish um, my socks or if I'll have them left over, but I figured they would be a nice color for uh, another um, pair of socks, like for a kind of a, uh, like, a cat, like a cuff color or something. So that'll be nice to use. And so I'm really enjoying these. I basically picked them up um, just I had both of them finished just past the gusset and I'm, I was trying to do my best to knit them um, two at a time but like on their own nine inch circular which is my uh, favorite way to knit socks so um, I've picked this one up this this one is a little bit farther I've put like maybe another inch or so into the foot and then I'll go back to this one so I kind of just go back and forth with each, with each sock and that seems to be the best way that I finish a pair uh, if I cast them on that on at the same time I do one cuff I do the next cuff then I do the legs I do one heel the next heel and then I move on uh, so that the parts that I don't like of every sock get completed at the same time so that uh, then I can move on to the parts that I do enjoy on both socks. And then um, it's a better strategy for me to actually have a completed pair of socks at the end of the day. So that's what this one is going to be. So I will share um, my progress maybe in the next vlog if I'm not done them and then I will definitely show you when they are done. So I'm looking forward to having these. I think they're going to be a beautiful addition into my uh, little collection of hand knit socks uh, which I thought that I could maybe um, show you. So okay so this is uh, one of my pairs of completed socks. Um, I'm showing I can show my collection because I only technically have uh, three finished pairs. I have the cozy house um, socks that I've shown and then I this is uh, one of my pairs and it looks they look scraggly but it's they were not stored in the nicest way in my drawer so they got a little um, folded up but they're um, this is my like neutral pair of socks and I really loved knitting these actually um, they're I had to look them up what yarn I used. I got it from True North Yarn uh, here in Barrie and so I'm just reading off the website but it's the it's by the brand Drops so I did the Drops Nord um, like line uh, so it's what does it say here a traditional four strand sock yarn it's a combination of 45 percent super fine alpaca and then 25 percent Peruvian Highland wool and 30% polyamide, which is basically nylon. So um, it's gonna, it's uh, it's really soft with the alpaca, and then the wool makes it really nice, and then it's like it has the added durability of the polyamide, and so it makes for a really nice pair of socks. And these balls are um, 50 grams, so they recommend that you get, well, I needed to get uh, two balls to make a pair of socks, and so they're. The great thing about these is that they come in this line specifically, at least at True North, um, only comes in like solid colors and they have a really nice range of um, like really soft colors like this. This was a, I think, beige, something beige. And then like they have soft pinks and blues and then they go into really like dark kind of jewel tones. And I have an idea of maybe making a couple more from this line just so that I have like these kind of just um, tonal soft like alpaca socks. Uh, and so I finished these and um, 
like they were truly vanilla because they're like the color is nothing too exciting and I didn't do anything other than just my vanilla pattern um, but I really enjoyed them I, they kept me going and I was excited to have like this like neutral pair of socks I kept thinking to myself so um, I'm really happy with them and I, yes I do have plans for other ones and I really like uh, the price point of these um, balls they're for 50 grams on uh, True North's website it is $5.95 also though like maybe I should point out I'm talking about True North not like I'm sponsored or anything it's just one of my favorite local yarn stores and uh, so I just know that this is a source for this yarn if you were to want to um, try it and so it's $5.95 a ball so for a pair of socks it's like basically $12 and um, like plus tax but it's I think it's a really nice um, price point and it's really nice yarn. I love that it has the, the Highland wool in it and the alpaca and so I think it it makes a really nice um, texture and it's got like a bit of a fuzz to it and yeah I really like this pair of socks and so eventually I do have plans to get more of this yarn and make myself a little collection. I thought like maybe um, three pairs would be nice of different uh, colors. So, and I'm kind of leaning more towards all of the really soft colors. I think that would be really nice. So there's a really nice soft blue and a really nice like blush kind of pink. So I'm thinking those would be my other two colors, but you never know, I may change my mind because every time I look online or when we can go back to shopping in person, um, I always get distracted by that wall and looking at all the colors. So I may, may end up changing my mind, but this was a very fun pair of socks. And it's just a normal um, one by one rib, 64 stitches. I did these ones on a two point, well my normal needle now is a 2.25. So I did it 2.25 millimeters. So I did it on um, circulars and then I switched to DPNs for the heel flap, um, which is, I guess just like a slip stitch. And then I do, I like this, I can see if I can focus. Um, it's like a garter tab, a three stitch garter tab on either side. So I really like the look of that and it makes um, picking up the stitches kind of easier. And then, yeah, and then I do, um, lately I've been doing a star toe. So you can see the different decrease lines. This is like the exact um, way that I knit my cozy house socks as well. And then my next pair, my only other pair of completed socks is this pair. So it's completely different. But this is from my Orange Octopus. Um, she's a Ontario yarn dyer and we um, used to be able to um, shop her yarns at um, yarn festivals. Um, I believe the one we saw her the most at, I think was KW and then um, I was also able to get um, some stuff from her at the last Fiber Spirit Festival in Barrie, I'm pretty sure. And so anyways, um, she is a beautiful hand dyer and one of the things that she does is um, this big cake. I can't remember the size of the cake if it's, it's definitely over 100 grams. Um, but I don't know if it's just like 115 or if it goes closer to 150. I can't remember, but it's enough to get like a really good uh, sized pair of socks. And then I still have, maybe my cake's about that big around still. And uh, so then I have an idea that um, this was from one cake and, and it's all dyed like there's no joins in the yarn. Like it's all dyed um, as one strand of yarn. Um, I just really love how it's like, it's more kind of murky between the changes of the colors. And so it takes like a couple rows to finish the transition. And I, I think that's really pretty. It kind of gives it more of like a painted look, I think. And um, I only, I messed up there. <laughs> it's not like a mess up, but um, I should have, what happened here? That was, oh yeah, it wasn't, I mean, there was no way to avoid it, but I finished my heel and then I still had a little bit of yarn. So when I knitted back across the top of the foot, I think, is that how a sock works? Now I can't remember, but it made a little purple, purple line here. It looks better because I have more of a thicker blue, but whatever. I really think they're really beautiful and I wouldn't like rip back or anything to fix that. 
but I um, I think they're really pretty and I love how it's all from the same um, cake but it's two completely different pairs two completely different socks so I think that's really fun and like you can see here I ended here I did these one at a time um, but I ended here and then there was a little bit left and it went into the cuff there and then I just kept going so these ones were fun um, and were I was able to do just one at a time and then actually make the second sock because I knew that the second sock was going to be different from the first sock. So it's kind of like you're starting a whole new project again. So it was very easy to stay motivated. And um, yeah, so like I said, I have a small cake and then I have, um, I was lucky enough because you kind of got to get to her booth quick enough <laughs> to be able to get a cake. So I was able to get another cake at another show after I finished these socks. So um, now I plan to cast on that cake and then I should probably be left with the same amount of cake at the end so then I figured the two small cakes might be enough to do a third pair of socks or at least be enough to do like maybe a kind of a longer striped uh, leg and then kind of maybe just use like a tonal uh, to finish the feet and so um, I think that would be really cool so I'm looking forward to that I think maybe that might be my next cast on for socks after I finish uh, the um, ones from the blue brick and then I'll do that and then um, I do like having kind of like a sample pair of socks on the needles for the shop so I do have my colors of fall striped uh, socks that I should I should work on so I'll probably have to pick those up again too and then um, so I can finish those because I think they're around the heel oh actually I think I finished the heel oh perfect so I think those will be easy to finish and then, um, and then maybe I'll cast on another pair of these. And these are so much fun. And so I'm looking forward to looking at them. It makes me want to um, knit another pair. And I know that they'll be different too. And the cake that I got the second time has a lot more like neon kind of looking colors. Whereas this one was more like kind of jewel toned and more, I think, like fall looking. Um, especially love like this mustard section here. And so um, the next pair is going to be really, really fun too, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. So that is my collection. <laughs> I have a modest collection of socks, but I do love them. And now I should really start wearing them. I don't actually wear them very often. I think I get kind of like protective of them. Um, but that's, that shouldn't be the point of knitting them. I shouldn't knit them and then put them away. I should wear them. So, um, that's also going to be something I work on this year is, um, finishing my socks and also wearing them more because they deserve to be worn and they can always be darned if they get um, like a hole or get worn down in an area and then re-wear them again. I really like the look of um, darned um, hand knit socks and just normal socks too. Uh, so I'd like to um, work on that as well. So I guess I can call that a goal for 2021 and yeah, we'll see how it goes. And then soon I'll have my blue brick socks and my collection will slowly start growing. Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's Jessica. Um, I thought I'd just show you what I've been up to in the dye studio this week. So, we worked on um, restocking out and about this week on various bases and we've added some new ones. So this is the original base that it was first on, which is um, Eclipse Fingering. And then we also did it on Surrey, which I am quite in love with. And then we also, I put it on Slum. And we also got in this DK version of the this one and so we're just calling it Eclipse DK and it looks really good so this is perfect if you if you just you know obviously if you just have a DK um, weight pattern for a sweater that you're interested in knitting or anything any item really then you don't have to hold Surrey with it and you can just knit straight with one yarn so and then it's the same price as the 
Eclipse fingering too. 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Um, so it's super warm and yeah. And it's got that toothy rustic feel. So I was also working on, we have a wholesale order. So just working on restocking some colorways for a wholesale, um, one of our stockists. So I dyed up some Galactic Dreams, um, marble, and then Galactic Dreams on slub. And as hot as it gets. Okay, so this is what I like to refer to as the yarn forest. It's just basically when all of our skeins are drying, they just hang from this rack on the ceiling. Um, so this is Ornate on Asteroid. And this is a new colorway that we're not sure what to call it. I think we're calling it Lean Forward. Allison's gonna talk about it, why we say that. But um, again, this Ornate is for a wholesale order as well as the Surrey. Oh, and then I also dyed As the Moon Turns on Surrey, which I am in love with. So it's super exciting and super bright. Camera, we have um, As the Moon Turns. So this is again for a restock for a stockist. Um, and yeah, this is the first side done. And then I gotta flip it to do the other side. I have some Moon Vista. Oops, sorry for the awkward camera movements. Some Moon Vista on Surrey, as well as some Verdant on Surrey. So Verdant is like a dark black green, and then Moon Vista is, they're both new colorways. Um, is, and Moon Vista is a dark black purple. Um, yeah, so they're both new colorways and they are currently available on um, Chunky, but yeah, so I'm working on today. They're gonna get dyed on Slub, Mohair, and Surrey for the shop. So yeah, anyways, hope everybody's having a great Friday. I hope that you enjoy this week's vlog and I'll talk to you again soon. So I realized I've never really talked about my cozy classic raglan on one of the vlog episodes. I did talk about it um, back when I casted it on in our last full episode, which I think is episode 13. And so um, I'm a little bit farther now. So I was, I think, yeah, still in the raglans. Um, so now I have a split for the sleeves and I am on the body. I have made, or I have gotten, um, I did like a quick measurement last night, so it's not like super accurate. I kind of just held the measuring tape over it, but it looked like it was about four inches. <laughs> so I think I think my size is um, six and a half. I have misplaced my pattern, so I have to find it. Um, I'm, but um, I think it's six and a half for my size for the body, and then before then you start the ribbing. But I'm thinking um, because this has this is uh, more of a cropped sweater that I'm not sure, I don't really, I've never knit, well, this is like my second sweater. I've never knit a crop sweater and I'm not, I don't, don't normally go towards crop sweaters if I buy a sweater. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with it or maybe just add maybe like another inch and go with more like seven and a half before I go to the ribbing. I'm gonna have to see, um, but I'm really loving it and it's so squishy and, um, if you follow us on Instagram, I just posted a picture um, with the coffee cake, the, a slice of the coffee cake that I um, showed making earlier in, in this vlog. And um, a lot of people really liked my sweater. And so I thought I could talk about it here because based off of um, everyone's feedback, we've decided because we're having um, a, like a mini um, update this Saturday, uh, January 30th at 12 p.m. Eastern, for the out and about, which Jessica has showed in this vlog uh, earlier, um, talking about how she was dying it earlier this week. So that color we did really well for us on our January 20th update. And so we've decided to dye some more 
and we've also put it on different bases. So I believe Jessica is going to talk about it at some point in this vlog about the other base bases that it's available on. So that's going to be av available. For some reason, available is a very difficult word for me to say today. Um, uh, on January 30th. Anyways, so that was the point of that web that update. But then now we decided to add some, um, just of the, the natural uh, eclipse fingering. So we're gonna do eclipse fingering and we have a new base that's gonna make a, a premiere this weekend and it's Eclipse Decay. So it's the same um, style with the black uh, and white marling, um, and it's 100% Peruvian Highland wool, but it's DK, so we're gonna have um, a limited amount of um, natural, like undyed, for both the fingering and the DK, uploaded to the website for the update this weekend. So if you're interested in doing something um, like I am, because um, I'm holding it, you can see my little tiny cake there. I'm using the Eclipse fingering and holding it double with our Surrey to um, equal DK for this pattern. So if you are not, if you want to knit something like the Cozy Classic or something else, um, but if with the Cozy Classic you're meant to have um, the, the weight of DK for the pattern so you can use um, just DK. So if you wanted to do something with um, only DK, so if you are not a fan of Surrey or Mohair, uh, then you can use like a DK weight base and we have a few DK weight bases in the shop and then plus we'll have this one and we're also going to have out and about the um, green colorway that did so well. That's also going to be available on the DK base as well. Or if you use um, two or more bases to equal DK, then you can also use the, make this sweater. So I think the original sample, this is the Cozy Classic Raglan by Jessie May. Um, I'm pretty sure it's fingering and mohair to make the sweater. So I decided to use fingering in Surrey. And so... Um, I really love the effect it's having and how this is just subtly changing the the yarn from being like more white and black to being kind of a more like creamy, murky um, white with the black popping through and then the little pop, pops of color from uh, the Surrey. This is our time spent together uh, colorway which was a um, one of our holiday colorways for 2020. M well, I can't say my favorite. One of my favorites. <laughs> so I really wanted to use it for a project. So I'm using it for this sweater. And so I just wanted to let you know in case you're not following us on Instagram or you didn't see the post um, that if you are interested in just the undyed version of this yarn, we will have some on Eclipse Fingering and Eclipse DK. And then we also have some dyed colorways on Eclipse Fingering available, and then we have the one colorway of Out and About available available on the DK base, and then afterwards, after this update, we're gonna have time to dye um, more uh, colorways. And I believe Jessica asked a question in the vlog earlier about um, if there is a colorway of ours that you would like to see on the Eclipse DK base to let us know in the comments below. So if you do maybe have a colorway that you really like from us, and you'd like to see it on this base, um, just let us know and we could dye it up. So, yes, this is my sweater. I'm very pleased with it. I really love it. And I think this is a pattern that I'm definitely going to make again. Um, I have a whole bunch of stitches squeezed on here. But, uh, yeah, I'm really loving this pattern. I love the feel of the Surrey and the Highland wool together. It's really nice. It still feels kind of rustic and also soft at the same time. So it's making a really nice fabric. And... Yes, I'm looking forward to wearing this and probably I will make another one. Okay, so uh, last but not least is uh, announcing our giveaway winner. We wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who um, participated in our giveaway and also who, you know, subscribes to our channel and watches our, our vlogs and episodes. We really appreciate it. Uh, Jessica and I really enjoyed um, reading all the comments all week and it was so nice to see um, that in a couple cases, people were commenting on each other's uh, comments, and so that was cool, and you know, there was like a little bit of a discussion, and I would really encourage you to read the comments if you have the time on the last video. Um, it The video is the picture with 
this yarn, in case you didn't know, um, that there was a, a giveaway, which I guess now since I'm talking about it, it's over. But uh, there was some really, really wonderful comments. It was really nice. It felt like you were kind of, we were kind of getting to know everyone um, just a little bit more. And um, it was, it was really cool. I liked all the different, a lot of them, a couple of them made me laugh. A couple of them were really sweet. Um, so I, yeah, it was really cool. Thank you very much everyone for entering and for taking the time to leave a comment and to watch our videos. And so but the winner we chose we did a the random number generator and so we um, picked a winner from the comments based on the number and so the winner is um the like screen name is diana philpot so i'll put your name on the screen as well and if so congratulations diana and if you would like to um contact us if you could email us at um, fullmoonfibers at gmail.com then we will get your information and we will send out your your um, prize, which is this set, the Cozy Eclipse um, Fingering fin Cozy Eclipse Fingering Kit. Is that what it's called? Yes. So that's what you have won, and it will um, be fun to send this out to you. And we hope that you uh, enjoy your prize. And thank you everyone for entering again. We would love to be able to give something to everybody. Um, and we will definitely um, do another giveaway uh, in the next coming like weeks or so um, as we get even closer to like our actual official anniversary of being on YouTube. So um, thank you again, everyone, and hope that you have a good weekend and that you've enjoyed the vlog and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.